All right. So housing wire came out last week with their five predictions for the second half of the 2022 housing market. And I'm going to go over that article with y'all today and my kind of reactions and anticipation predictions, all the things for the Houston real estate market. So let's dig in to this article. So basically they had their five predictions for the second half of the 2022 housing market um, from Core Logic. Um, and basically this is how it starts. While the housing market trends in the first quarter of 2022 resembled previous year trends, i.e. buyer frenzies, homes selling over asking price and continued home appreciation, much has changed in the spring, which is going to impact some of their previous forecast scenarios. So deviations from economic predictions. So the federal reserve did say that they were going to gradually remove some of their things that they were doing as far as, um, you know, the Fed rate was basically at zero for all of last year. They're buying mortgage-backed securities and doing all of these things to try to spur the economy. But then we have seen inflation kind of go pretty crazy, high, highest uh, amounts of inflation, percentage of inflation rates we've seen in like 30 plus years. So they basically came out pretty aggressive to try to reel in inflation. Um, they are now saying that they think that our bets are on two 50 point basis hikes in May and June, and then a 25 basis point increases throughout the year. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to see interest rates, um, you know, be high for buyers. Um, and, you know, Basically in here, they're saying the outlook for mortgage rates and the economy is uncertain, especially as we consider what's happening in Ukraine, the effect of that on the world economy. Um, but they are saying that mortgage rates should hover around 5% for the remainder of the year. But they are also saying that we should see some movement kind of around that 5%. So it could go higher, could go lower. That's what they are saying for interest rates. Everything that I've talked to and all of our lenders here in Houston are kind of saying the same thing, um, you know, based on what they're hearing from different sources and things like that. So interest rates should remain in that, uh, you know, 5% range for probably the rest of this year. So time will only tell. We are only in May um, and we'll see what keeps going. All right. So the impact on housing markets. Um, obviously, with interest rates increasing, aggressive tactics from the Fed, buyers did kind of hit the ground hard running pretty fast at the beginning of this year. Um, and really, I think that that was a continuation of last year's buying, um, you know, kind of conditions and things like that. Um, so the inventory of homes obviously has been lagging um, and, you know, there wasn't a ton of relief for buyers. Um, home buyer competition and bidding wars peaked again. And that share of homes that sold over asking price reached last year's summer high with six in 10 selling over ask in the month of March. Um, although we are seeing a little bit more, um, inventory come on the market, they are basically saying that they don't think it looks very promising for 2022 because of the, uh, surge of mortgage rates and people being locked in by existing homeowners. Um, while we may see some increase in new listings, um, markets that have very strong buyer demand are not likely to in experience relief. So depending on what state you're in, you may not see a ton of relief. That's something that we've been seeing here in Houston. We've ticked up to over 14,000 kind of active listings on the market for the week, but we are at 13,000. Normally we have about 20,000. So we're still sitting a lot lower than we would like to be for a healthy real estate market here in the Houston area. So hopefully we will see some more inventory, but I don't see it significantly jumping anytime soon. Okay. So the interest rates and lack of inventory do have somewhat of a dampening effect, uh, diminut of, of on demand. Um, but there are definitely still buyers that can afford the rising costs of home ownership and will still compete for those limited properties. Additionally, something that we've seen something that we've started to see this year is more investor activity in the market. In March, this is nationwide, but investors made up 28% of single family home purchases. We've seen significant increases in rent numbers across the nation. 
and in Houston as well, um, the core logic single family rent index increased to get another high at the beginning of this year and registered at a 13.1 annual increase for February. What we saw in Houston in April, um, you know, we, we get our local stats a little bit faster sometimes than the national stats. What we saw here in April for the month was that lease property rent rose about 10.2% for single family homes. Um, so the average rent for a single family home here in Houston is $2,164. And then townhomes and condos increased 8.4% to $1,831. So, you know, we're a little bit less than a 13% annual increase for the nation, but 8.4 and 10.2% increases on a year over year basis is definitely something that if I were looking to invest in a, you know, rental property, um, you know, those are numbers that I would like to see. So market considerations, given the competing demand and historically low supply, home price growth, which gained more steam in 2022, it's likely to re remain robust and clock in at a double digit rate of growth through the remainder of the year. Um, CoreLogic Home Price Index is now predicting the annual average rise in the national index to be 17% up from 15% in 2021. Um, so, you know, that should be interesting to see here in Houston, we've seen a 14.9% increase in the average sales price on a year over year basis. Last month, uh, when we were reporting for March's numbers, that was the first time we'd seen the average price go over 400 K last month, we were seeing it $426,000 for our average sales price here in Houston. So. I'm thinking we're probably going to stay over 400 K for average sales price for the remainder of the year. So something to keep in mind, if you're looking in that 400 K or less range, the inventory is very limited. Um, so it's definitely something to consider, you know, if you're looking to buy a home in that price point to be ready to move quickly. Other thing that they put in this housing wire core logics article is cash out refis. Obviously with higher interest rates, people aren't trying to do cash out refis. Um, kind of a crazy stat though, refinance origination volume is possibly going to be 70% down on a year over year basis, but you know, a lot of people probably already did it or aren't planning on doing it. Um, but the incentive to, to refi generally is pretty removed when rates go above 5%, um, 90% of current outstanding mortgages in the United States have a rate that is less than or equal to 5%. So only 10% of people in the country have interest rates over 5%. Um, obviously though, people may be looking to pull out cash from their property for other reasons to do, you know, um, a renovation or to buy an investment property. You know, we've seen such a significant increase in equity that it may make sense to still pull money out of the property that you live in. Um, all right, let's finish out with the employment and income. So uh, strong employment and income growth have helped to keep new delinquencies at a very low level. The 30-day delinquency rate remains at its lowest in a generation, uh, while foreclosure rates have ticked up slightly in January um, as the moratorium on foreclosures expired um, at 0.24%. The foreclosure rate remains at half the average rate seen in a decade prior to the Great Recession. Um, so they're saying that probably would see an uptick potentially in the Northeast and along the Gulf Coast. So time will only tell there. We did a search the other day for foreclosure properties in the MLS. And at that time, there were like 15 properties available that were foreclosures. Um, so, you know, that is just something to kind of keep in mind. There aren't a ton out there as of right now. Um, when I'm going to pull that up now, um, let's see, let me add some filters here. So when I pull foreclosures, there are 79, um, and that is, you know, for homes and townhomes and things like that. But one thing to keep in mind is that's not just Houston proper. If I zoom this out, it's all over, right? So some of these are nowhere near. If I draw this just for kind of the Houston area and the areas that kind of we would serve and, you know, people of this MLS would serve. It's kind of a bad circle, but here in the greater Houston area, drum roll, please. We've got some. And so to remind you, the green ones would be active and then the um, 
orange ones would be under contract, but there's 25 here in the greater Houston area. So something to keep in mind there. All right. So the road ahead, um, 2022 will still be a strong year for housing. Obviously it might be more challenging than previously anticipated, especially for buyers who aren't able to afford the increase in monthly mortgage payments due to higher mortgage rates and home prices. Um, 30 year loans should be around 5% for the rest of the year. Um, home sales would decline. Um, honestly, in Houston, we are still tracking, um, pretty high over the home sales for last year. So I'm going to say in Houston, we are not going to decline in the amount of home sales that we see in the area. Um, single family home price growth to remain robust, averaging 17% for the year. I mean, we're sitting at about 15%. I said before, I thought it would be five to seven. I'll come back with seven to 10, I think for the Houston area, when we get to the end of the year, um, less refi. Uh, loans, larger cash out, and more HELOCs. I do think we will not really see any refis this year and loan delinquency remains low with some uptick in distressed sales. So I agree with most of this. Um, I do think that we will continue to see a um, increase in the amount of sales here in Houston on a year over year basis. Um, and I think we probably won't hit 17% price appreciation on a year over year basis, but I would say seven to 10% up from my original predictions at the beginning of the year that I said five to seven. So if you've got any questions on the Houston real estate market, please feel free to reach out. We would love to chat and help you with your real estate goals. Have a great day.